from there, there's uh, certain techniques. Say you can't do as many push-ups as you can. You can't really work the arms. There's ways to just start by holding the push-up position. So let's say you're tired of doing it from your knees. You want to start progressing a little more. We're going to do something where we go down from plank back up to push-up position. So you just start by holding the push-up position. Again, shoulders underneath the uh, hands underneath the shoulders. I'm holding it. My feet are about shoulder width apart. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to come down to plank position, back up to push up. Down to plank, up to push up. Down to plank, up to push up. Now you do that about 10 to 20 times, you're going to start feeling in your arms. Might not be, uh, not, might, be, might not be the hardest thing to do, but it's going to start building you up. And then from there, you can start adding push ups. Again, if you can do push ups already, you just care to make it a little bit harder on yourself. Just from going down there, you can come down to plank, back up to push up, push up. Come down, back up, two push-ups. One, two. Down plank, up to push-up, three push-ups. And so on and so forth. You do as many as you can do. Again, you're working that, you're constantly working your arms, you're working your chest with it, you're keeping your core tight while you're doing it. Always kind of conscious about having a tight core because like I said in our uh, in the ab section, the core is the main frame of the whole body. So you always want to be aware of your core.